when you move into a bedsit. One of the strange rituals you'll need to observe is cleaning the bath. In bedsit land, you need to clean the bath before you get in it, rather than when you get out of it. It also helps to drain the water if you remove the horrible gunk of matted hair from the plug hole. This should be done every year or so, whether it needs it or not. One of the delightful aspects of bedsit baths is that they tend to be genuine relics from the Romans. They're of such a size that you can actually learn to swim in them. Non-swimmers are advised to stay away from the tap end. A further point to remember when taking a bath is to remove the spider. The spider is a standard feature of the bedsit bathroom and is called Boris Bathus. This hardy breed of spider has evolved over many years and specializes in climbing halfway up the side of the bath and then turning round and sliding all the way down again. They seem to particularly enjoy this as it's all they ever do. It's pointless trying to flush this creature down the plug hole, as it will only climb back up and push out the plug when you least expect it. Don't push me! If you're lucky enough to have a shower fixed to your bath, you'd be well advised to keep your wits about you, as the plumbing in all shared houses is extremely dodgy. So, when someone fills a kettle two floors down, it could transform your nice and relaxing warm shower into the sort of apparatus that could scald a lobster. I'm singing in the rain, just singing. Ah! 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 Stand up! Step on! Next, heating a bedsit. 